Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video and series. So, as the title implies, we are going to be talking about in this series the four stages of education. Um, or the four pillars of education, should I say. But for this introduction episode, I'm actually going to be discussing A, um, the founder very briefly, but be kind of my thoughts on where I feel like this could go. <clears throat> so to start, for those who don't know, um, the Four Pillars of Education was founded by a group that was strangely enough founded by someone with the exact same last name as the group, which nowadays is not exactly abnormal. Um, but the individual the individual's name was a politician named Jacques Delors. And yes, French. I mean, the funny the, the thing I find interesting about this guy is that it's one of those individuals where you know what they did, you know the outcome, you know how impactful it was, but once the name is said without reference, you know nothing. <laughs> For example, well, I'll use myself as an example. Um, I was trying to figure out something to discuss. Originally, this series was supposed to be just kind of a one-time video, which would be a history talk type video, which this would have been this particular episode. However, when I dug deeper, I found something that, you know, piqued my interest a bit more than just the singular person. It was the fact that the person founded a group, um, I actually have it on my phone because I knew I was going to forget some of this stuff, called the Delore Commission, um, which has existed for quite some time. And the Delore Commission was the group that actually founded uh, the four pillars of education. Uh, that of which are, first off, uh, again, I have to write these things down. I've got plenty of notes. The first one was learning to know. Like, all these pillars are learning to something. Bear that in mind. Any of us who were going through elementary school and or middle school at the time of the early 2000s probably know exactly what this is. Uh, because it had just been created and was applied to many, many, many schools at the time. Now, the order of them was first, as I said, learning to know, then learning to do, learning to live, and learning to be. Now, as simple as the terms might sound, it actually is a little bit more complicated when you think about like the different details, aspects, psychology, all the circumstances that can go potentially go into each portion. I actually do remember back in, when I was, I think I was like first through third grade, I would go through school and I'd see like these big colorful pillars. Each of the four pillars would have one of each of those four words. No, do, learn, and, or sorry, no, do, live, and crap. It's, this is one of those things where my brain can't memorize it off the fly. So, no, it, it would literally be in the same order. No, do, live, be. No, do, live, be. You would ha see each of those on each pillar. I'd be walking through the halls, I'd stare at it, like, just... <laughs> for, like, probably ten seconds straight, and then I'd catch up with the line that was presented at the time, and I'd move on. The funny thing is, though, I don't... While digging kind of at the start of all this before deciding to do separate different videos on this stuff, I found it interesting how much... Like, this was aiming towards not a, like a worldwide-based thing, but just kind of as a nationality thing for... Like, the, the European nation. And it's very interesting how far spread the impact from that became. 
Um, and we'll be we will be talking about why, on many fronts, each one of these four pillars can be impactful throughout the course of this series. However, I am going to save that for the actual videos. I don't know. You guys looking forward to this series? Let us know in the comments below. Um, if you guys would still like me to do a separate history talk type video on Jacques uh, himself, let us know down there as well. I'll definitely take it into consideration if enough requests are made. In my case, enough would probably be like three, four, five. <laughs> Given the small amount of indiv individuals who excessively watch the content on this channel. Either way, though, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Once again, if you're looking forward to this series, give the video a like, and consider subscribing if you like these kind of series. We've got several other types of subconscious type of series, like the eight psychosocial stages of development. Um, we've also discussed uh, the five stages of grief, um, with, in addition, could include the seven stages, which are similar enough to where they're not needed to be discussed on their own right. Um, in personal opinion, there are quite a few differences still, but even so. But if you do want to check, if you do have interest in that kind of stuff, I would recommend at least checking out the channel. Whereas, if you have any interest in this particular playlist, once we have more on here, Click the link on the side of my head here, and you'll be able to check out the rest of the videos in this list. Um, if you're watching this when it first comes out, though, sorry, you might have to wait a bit. Um, however, if this isn't quite floating your boat, but you think you may be able to find something intriguing on this uh, channel, why not click the link on the other side where it'll the platform will lead you to something you may enjoy a bit more. In the meantime, I'm going to head off, though. Thanks again for tuning in the video. I dropped the mouse I didn't want to drop. But yeah, thanks again for tuning in this video, guys. And we hope to catch you all in another one. See you guys later.